And you greet the person next to you. Good evening. I am blessed to see you this evening. I am alive this evening. And God is good. Amen. Praise God. Let me help you see it. You can continue playing if you like. We're good. I know we may decrease in number. But when we set our hearts straight, nothing is impossible as you know. Amen? We would like also to greet our viewers sa church online. I especially would like to greet um, an Akong chapter sa Eagles Club, Centurions. I know you're tuned in right now. And all the members of Pickup Truck Club, thank you for watching and may God bless you. And to those who are watching all over the Philippines and in the world, God bless you. God is always there for you. And to everyone here in the house, the Lord is always with us, even in this time of challenge. Amen? Let us begin with the prayer. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads. And while the music is softly playing in the background, just thank the Lord for everything that has come our way. Thank Him for the life that we experience. Mga problema na niabot sa akong kinabuhi. These are all things that we can learn and grow stronger in faith. Let us pray. Dear God, our gracious and loving Heavenly Father, we come to you this evening heavy burdened. We're confused. We have fear. We may have doubts. We may be scared. But Lord, we find our strength in you. According to Psalms 91, Lord, you are our refuge, our strength. And therefore we ask that you be with us, dear God, in these times of troubles. Troubles in finances. Troubles in our health. There are troubles and challenges in our work. Father, we claim your victory, your God. And Lord, I pray as we hear your word that there will be more of you, Father, and less of me. But it is your word that will give us the directions of our life, that will give us our strength. And let us remember who our maker is, who our savior is, and who our God is. Father, give us the strength to live one more day and the next and the next day because you alone are the giver of life in Jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen Indota, just keep playing I will start with a, a little reminder the result always depends on how much you give to achieve it. Ang resulta sa atong paningkamo nagalipinde o unsay atong paghatag panglambo ini sa ato ba pasulong? Amen? The destination that we want to go is given. But getting there depends in Entirely on us. Yesterday, I got me. He can make alcohol together with my BCMT Air Force uh, Reservist class, and it's a long way. He can alcohol. Uban ako ni Pastor Boni ang mga sawa. Uban pa pipila ka mga classmate to kauban, and it's a journey na bijut taas. But why, why do I kung panikamutan ito? I was listening to the ambot lang mga core pastors. Murag si Pastor Alger, no? <laughs> Pastor Alger is one of a pastor that I really look up to. And I see him in you. So, don't give up. In Bible school, everything is always trial and error. 
never give up. In our spiritual walk with Christ, never give up. And tonight's, tonight's message, I will be talking to you about strengthening our calling in giving. Thank you. Strength, likunan, atong husukon. Saman ako ba? Husuk. Pusok. Ang sa pagpapalagan o pag-achieve sa paghata. Kung siya lang paghata. It does not entirely mean about giving in money. But it can also give in service. In service sa atong kaitsuunan. Pagtrabaho sa atong mga bulatong o atong mga commitment sa ginoo na alihan. Ang saong pagliko ni ini. In Philippians chapter 1 verse 20, I see a lot of Bible school students here. Please open your Bibles to Philippians chapter 1 verse 20. It says, I eagerly expect and hope that I will in no way be ashamed, but will have a sufficient courage so that now as always Christ will be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death. Whether by life or by death. And I will not be ashamed. I don't know if mga Bible school, because I too went to Bible school in Acts Bible Seminary. And I'm doing what you are doing, studying. And to a lot sa mga nalimbahay kang gabi, we always go through a process. Nag-desire ka na atay magkapot. But sa atong pagkapot, atong likonon, now we get to that destination. Kung sa Bible school student pa, ang destination is to graduate, to reform yourself, pag-uon mo. Kung bulag po yung kasawa na, ka. Sa ginoo. Di nilang sa estudyante, ang isig katawa na to, our own self. We may be struggling. That's why we go to church. Maybe that's one of our reasons. And it's a good thing. Kaysa malayo ta, trying to find transformation elsewhere. But when you go to church, you associate yourself with co-brothers and sisters. We are encouraged to become strong in the Lord. Especially in the time today. There are so many news reports every time you look at the Facebook, every time you look at the TV or internet. It's very hard to find good news. But the good news is, read your Bible. There's all the positive encouragement that comes from the Lord and that's all that matters. We need to have sufficient courage. Ego kaiso. Mga iksoon. Mga iksoon na Kristohan. We should never be ashamed. For in a blink of an eye, we are with Jesus Christ. That's all. Siya ay di pangkutoy ta. Pangkatoy ta. Di ba, Pastor Bonnie? Pero magaling kong ta. No way. Daog na ta sino. Amen? That's it. Our life is going swiftly by. O sa'yo, hindi na ito makita ka lang. It's been over a year, Pastor Rudy. Am I right? It's nearly a year. Hindi nga na kadali ang panahon. And if you don't grab that opportunity to be able to share the Word of God, if you never grab that opportunity to be a leader, to be an example to co-people, an encouragement to your friends, Family and relatives. Masakra ka one day. Saya. I could have been that person's best friend. Now, I'm challenging everyone to be courageous in the Lord. Be courageous in the Lord. Because the Lord loves you. And in everything you do right now, you may be faced with financial problems. You may face emotional problems. We are confused. But ang Kristohano na courageous o equipped, lupig pa'y sundalo na andan. 
I'll read that to you in Psalms 127, verse 5. It says, Blessed is the man whose quiver. What's the quiver? A quiver is a case. Sa butanganan sa arrows. If you're an archer, kung magkanampana ba, mo may sudlanan sa arrows. No matter kung sa ka kamaayong pana, kung sa ka maayong sulya, kung sa ka maayong kuskan, kung wakay arrow, wakay pulse. How can you be an archer kung wala kay pana? And so, blessed is man whose quiver is full of them. They will not be put to shame when they contend with their opponents in court. As a fellow believer, as a pastor, as a life group leader, kita tanang mga egsoon, we must be full. Our quiver, atong balamu sakto. At any time, we can share the word of God. At any time, we can give encouragement. At any time, we can praise the Lord. At any time, you can be a warrior. Just do your homework. Study. Connect yourself to Jesus Christ. Sometimes we know a lot because of our experience. But do not put experience as your brain. Humble yourself down and learn. Because the Lord will give new revelations in the things na atong gisagubang karong panahon na. He will give you wisdom, not just your own personal intellect, but wisdom in the sense that you can overcome the different trials that you are going through right now. Sometimes we make decisions out of our personal knowledge. Then again, we forget the giver of life, the giver of wisdom that is in Jesus Christ. Yield upon Him. And He will give you the right answer. Amen? Amen? We need to humble ourselves. Be equipped. Be ready in all times. Because the Lord is always there waiting for us. And if we are even suffering from the decisions that we make, we fail in many aspects of our life. It's okay. Learn to ask forgiveness. Learn to humble down. Because it says in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 12. That is why I am suffering as I am. Yet this is no cause for shame. Ayaw ka ulaw. Do not be guilty. Mga young people, we have done things in, in life na batang tanda that we are not proud of. Or even now, we are doing things that we are not proud of. But ask forgiveness from Jesus Christ. It is only when you ask forgiveness that redemption will come. And that redemption gives salvation and freedom to move forward. Because I know whom I have believed. Na kaila ko, kinsay akong gituhan. Kinsay akong gidai. Kinsay akong gialaga. And that is Jesus Christ. Let us equip ourselves. Let us not be contented in going just to church or listening to our digital gospel or attending our prayer meeting or life groups and think it's okay in Anina, no? In our personal life, we should always meditate, read your Bibles and pray. Sabog na karong panahon na. The Lord will always be with you. I reflect my life even during Bible school, mga so And the time that I made a commitment to Jesus Christ that I will turn back time. I will forget my past. I was not born a pastor. Ang pagkapastor mga iksoon, wak na ihagi, pagkatao na ko. But I made that decision. 
like what you have also made. Ni agi sa ko mga bulat tuloy ginabagyabag sa ributan. But when I stand and I make that commitment, I took that commitment seriously. Lord, renew me. Change me. I want to be used by you. I want your wisdom and your anointing, Father. Because I want to walk by your side. And he will grant whatever you desire in your heart. Commitment, my good, is a promise to do something. It is loyalty of someone, the attitude of someone who works very hard to do or support something. Commitment is something no matter what happens, you will continue to do it whatever it takes, even if our life depends on it. I repeat, even if our lives depend on it. That is commitment. That is commitment. Do not be scared to go to war. Do not be scared in warfare. Because greater is He that is in you than He in this world. Amen. So do not fear the unseen enemy. Put your heart in Jesus. Lord, strengthen my calling. Strengthen my responsibility. Allow me to give more for you. Because I know you will never let me down. Amen? There are five points that I want to share about secrets in giving and receiving. Give up what you love. Do not give up your wife or your husband. Give up the things that you love. Like certain night outs. Give up what you really like. Spending time watching Korean novella. Mga inga na mga butang na gusto niyo. And more focus on what is important and eternal. Give up mga financial means. Give to people that needs your help. Kung kaya po. Give your time. We all have the same 24 hours. But it is how you use your time that differentiates you from one another. Itatanan, pariha tatanan. And time stops for no one. But it is how you use your time for the Lord that gives you blessing in this world and in the next. Use your time wisely. Number four, give your abilities. What are you good at? Are you good in singing? Are you a people person? Are you a person who likes to drive like Brother Bernard? Are you a person like Pastor Rashina, who is very good in the media department? Are you in the music ministry? Give it for the Lord. Ako I desire to sing in the praise and worship, but magbukod sila sa akong note kung asa ko, mayabag ko sa asa, magwala yun ako kanila ako i-focus find your gift brothers and sisters and give it to the Lord and most importantly give yourself, number five give yourself, your whole being Lord use me and when the Lord use you He will recreate you Amen? There's a little abbreviation of what I mean about commit. C-O-M-M-I-T. Commit. Letter C. Be consistent. Whatever you're doing right now, kaning atong pag-usab sa atong kinabuhi. When we promise, Lord, I'm going to change. I'm going to renew myself. I'll become a better person. I commit to it. Be committed. It is not always how you begin. But it is always about your consistency. Ayaw sa pagsugod lang maayo. Mayal ka mo storya. But we need to be consistent till the job is done. Amen? Letter O, obedience. 
Let us learn to follow instructions. Let us learn to obey. Because when you obey, you forget yourself in favor of what is right. That's humility, mga Exodus. When you do more for what is required from you than your own personal likes and or dislikes, that is obedience. Let us merit. Let us not be hungry for recognition, praise, or honor, but always give honor to the Lord who deserves it more than us. When we do our work, give God the glory. If you are successful in life, give God the glory. Yes, Because the Lord will return it back to you in many folds. The success that we have acclaimed in life is not because of how needy we are, of how good we are. No. It is because God gives you that favor and give it back to the Lord. Because He deserves all glory and praise. Pakpaka na kong ginoo, mga iso. Another and another end, man's importance. Letter I for importance and the time, time bound. Like me, every month I always struggle sa akong kaugalingon. I always say, next month, mag-limit na ko sa ako sugar because my desire is to really take out my medicine for my diabetes. And I, human as I am, let me get on my own cake. Samot na si Iban Iban Muloto. Di ko ka di yung kaon ang kung sa iya, di ko kaon. Di ba ba? Pero we go next month na lang. When will be the time or the time bound. Na kanusa mo, kanusa mo nito mong sukod. When can we start? When can we, we end our own self or our own deceitful desire? When? Now or maybe next month? Maybe it's too late. Let us focus on when. And the word give, G-I-V-E, letter G, let us all live a godly life. Or letter G, Godly life. As you are all enrolled in Bible school, mga Bible school students, learn to forget who you were back then and focus on what is right. To everyone in attendance also here, let us maningkamuta. We may never achieve perfection in this world, but when we try, may nalang na atagalay. No one is perfect, but at least we try. Kani magong pagsuway. Pagsuway ka. Paningkamot ka, mukatong ka, makakabot ka, sa himaya, sa gino. A letter I in the, in the word give is investment. Invest in the Lord. Invest your life, your time, your talent, your abilities, your money, Whatever you can give for the Lord, because once it is invested, it will return. Amen? Amen. Investment. Letter V, value. Value the learnings that God reveals in your life. When you call upon Him, be sensitive to His Word. Be sensitive to the revelation the Lord is giving you. Be sure to know that. Value it is a great learning experience. The things that is happening right now in our lives, we may like Pastor Ian, he was sharing, why Lord, why? But the Lord provides. Because the Lord will never give you a trial or a problem that you can never overcome. It is a test of your ability to call upon Him. And not to rely on your own personal strength, but rely on Jesus Christ. When I heard Pastor Ian, when he was talking about his experience together with his wife, that entails a lot of phys- uh, physical and financial need, but the Lord provides. 
and he gives favors to those who live righteous lives. Just rely on Jesus Christ. Just rely. We are in the same boat, my next one. No one is special. But we can only rely upon Jesus Christ. And to all that is watching right now, if you're going through a lot of difficulties in life, learn to trust in the Lord. Do not think that you can go to anyone else to ask favor, but always call on Jesus and He will answer you. And let me be empowered. Even if you think you are not capable, think that you can. It is a mind battle. You look at yourself, you say, you know, you don't have ego, you don't have to say, no, because your mind is your greatest limitation. We are what we think we are. When you say you can't do it, you can't. But strive to say, Kaya na na po, no matter what. I can do it. Lord, help me. I can reach out to my family, to my friends. Because they are important. And by doing that, you need to know the love of God in your life. Sometimes we desire things and we lack knowledge that God loves you. And God does love you. In John 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world, and He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And watch, we know that. And we understand that our God loves us. We can love ourselves and we can love others. Because once we know that God loves me and God loves you, you can make people know that there is a God that loves them. Amen? Amen. The basis and reason to give to anyone is about real giving. Committing to give. It's easy to say that I'm But when you commit to give, that's another thing. Amen. In first John chapter 4, verse 8, he that loveth not knowing not God, for God is love. God is love. And when you know that. He always remember he is the original, he is the origin and the value of love that comes from him. So I we get tired when we give so much and we think we are not reciprocated with that same love. We give or we give service to people, we have patience to them, we understand. Think of what Jesus said to himself. When everyone praised him, and then the following day, those people that have praised him shout out to him were the same people who crucified him. And only when we know what Jesus Christ has done for you and me, that we understand that our suffering it's not even close to the suffering that Jesus Christ has done for you and me on the cross of Mount Calvary. We are special in so And if you want to know how special you are, in Genesis chapter 2 verse 7, And the Lord formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and the man became a living soul. He did not say, let there be man. But he created us unique and special. He knows every hair. He said, Gua gua ang niya kong buho. Kakabalo siya pila ni kabo. He said, two thousand lang ni. Na yung bandiha, murag, nagandagan pag buho. Sige lang, buho yun na lang sa atong suwang. Isn't that amazing? When I was having my eye surgery, my insulin, I then realized how, how amazing our God is. 
how awesome my God is. During the operating room, with my eye, this one closed, and this one the Gabriel of my eye, so that they will operate on my eye. I was scared. I was dilalang uh, kung pamacho macho because it's an eye. Kung mabuta ka, it's a different story. Kaya wamon talagang dako na buta. But then I realized no one or nothing in this world can function like our eye. And the maker of this eye, not any man can copy. Even if it was operated, compared to natural eye. Because this is what you call synthetic eye. And then I realized, God, if you can make my eyes like that, unsa ka mo sa akong problema na? Unsa na ka? Minuscule. Kamay ka ay sa imo. My fears are small compared to you, Father. Paani ko gino? And you know, that anxiety and that fear went away. Doot as gino ang mga iksun, especially today. Di takasabot sa atong ipambati. We wake up the next morning. Will I live to survive today? I tell my wife, before we always plan ahead five, six months time. We plan to go things and do this and go out and do things. But you can never tell what will happen the next week, the next month, or even the next two days. But we all live to survive. But let, let's make each day a survival and living each day like it was our last by giving glory to God in our life and in our strength. Strengthen your calling, my soul, because you have a purpose in this world. Amen? The Lord took His time and importance in making us. He spent time that we may all be different. We may be all unique and special. The person next to you does not look like you. Or the person behind you. Tungon kay na kay purpose. Sa gingaringan niya. Especially in a way that he give you power and authority. Gifts. Choices. We need to be smart in making the right decisions in our life. God gave it all to us. There's no better time like the present. That's why it's called a gift. Amen? Amen. And I will end. And I will end with this verse, my soul. We may be going through a lot, but in Isaiah chapter 40, Verses 31. And I have it on the screen. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength and they will soar on wings like eagles. What is so special about soaring like wings of eagles? Eagles are a bird of prey. They are pristine birds that will fly. And they are known to fly high. And when we trust in the Lord, going to that height, there is peace. There is tranquility. Kung baga, ang, ang inyong time with the Lord is unmeasurable. So put your hope in the Lord, not on our vaccines, not on, hey, when we say we put our hope on the vaccines, na na po'y lying variant. So, lying na po'y vaccine. Ano sa mga tamo ang ali? But put our trust and hope in the Lord and He will renew our strength and we will soar 
on wings like eagles and they will run and not grow weary mo dagan o kita kapuyo sama sa kinabuhat nila Pastor Boni huwag akong iksoon Carl nagpraktis na sila diha para ini panahon sa kumbati sa among culminating activity di ini maghalhal ako may kayo kapos tinawa na nilila but we will always have to try and he will renew our strength and they will walk and not be faint samtang maglakaw pa di takapuyon tungod kay na ang krasya sa kinauuban natin so whatever ang sa atong ipangagian karong mga egson put your trust in the Lord do not fear because you fear because you are scared of what may happen but regardless of what may happen release that fear give it to the Lord and live each day as it comes be contented of what you have make this time to spend time on yourself to give it, forgive yourself for our past sins and take that guilt away and allow Jesus Christ to forgive us so that we can continue to walk with Him in a clean slate na magkinyong sa kalibutan you know that you are secure in Jesus Christ mawala mo dyan na siya ang security why are we scared? because we lack the knowledge of security but when we know that we are secure in Jesus Christ come to what may that fear will be gone take time to spend it with your family make your children know that you are there for them take time to spend it with your wife or your husband make sure that they bring meaning to your life and in your workplace take time to share to people that God loves them take that courage take that step of faith step on it and Lord renew me that I will have courage because I know the Lord will give you the desires of your heart Amen let's all stand can we sing that song goodness I want everyone with your eyes closed I really like this song and I want us to ask the music and the psalmist team try to sing with goodness of God I want you to listen to the lyrics of this song because in all aspects of our life God's goodness will supersede our human emotions Let's close our eyes and bow our heads.
Precious, loving name. 